What's up everyone? Dem boys back at it man. We got another split close custom stack play. So many great formations out of this split close guys. Also, just real quick, I wanted to note, if people start leaving match principles in and shading underneath and doing things like that to take away some of this stuff, guys, this HB will becomes an excellent beater. That is a great cover three beater. Uh, the outside third will take the flag or the corner out, uh, leaving that post coming across the field wide open. Uh, usually I will go ahead and block the flat route, the table route there with the running back. Uh, but I just wanted to note that, obviously, when you're going to talk about that. Uh, we're going to talk about PAF Slide, alright? So, as always, we're going to go ahead and flip. Now, you can flip it while you're looking at the player or out here. It's just you have to do that in order to create the stack. If you don't do it, you would just motion snap it when he gets behind B. But, you know, typically in order to create the stack, that's what we need to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take RB and block him. I'm going to take X and put him on an in. Versus zone, that is very important because the in will pull down the linebackers, uh, thus helping to clear out A. And then, of course, we have the high-low between B and Y. Um, Y'all know I'm a big fan of high-lows. Most of my offense is predicated on some type of high-lows. So in this case, high-low over the middle, high-low over the right side. Uh, so against cover three with purples. Out wide open. Easy money, easy money. If they shade back, of course you just take underneath, right? Very simple. Simple, simple read. And that doesn't matter. I'll show you against different coverages, guys. But that's the great thing. A lot of these plays, when I'm putting them together, it's, it's high-low reads, things like that, to where it doesn't even necessarily matter what coverage you're against. You can burn all zones with them making the high-low read, right? So, simple to note. Um, now, let's focus on the other high-low. I want you to watch uh, A and X and see how that interacts with the cover three. See, X pulls down the linebacker, bang. That is a much quicker read. I'm always A throwing that. A lot of times I'm even low pointing that. That read needs to be made quicker because someone will click on with that safety and fly down, right? So that is a little bit higher degree of difficulty making that particular read. Uh, unless they just blitz everyone up the middle, you just fire it pretty quick right away, right? Yeah. But generally speaking, a little bit tougher. Um, so now, guys, I'm just going to show you real quick against a cover four. And again, in cover three versus cover four, what matters more is are these hard flats? Are these being shaded up? Clouds? What are they? That's what matters. So I showed you against purples last time. So let's look against clouds this time so you can get an idea how it's going to look. Take X, put him on an in, take RB, block him, and let's watch that high-low on the outside again. We got Y coming wide open. Uh, the nice thing there, what happens is since Y comes across late, it's not read by the cloud flat. The cloud flat's just going to jump back because it doesn't think there's anything below it. So you end up pulling the, card flat, or the cloud flat out of your way. Uh, and that will look exactly the same, guys, against cover two. Um, against cover two... The reads you're likely making are going to be uh, the underneath reads. You're likely going to be throwing the ball to X on the M or to Y um, coming out in the flat. You know, and that's just because you're going to have one of those middle yellows go deep, really, right? And the other one's the user, typically. Um, so now I'm going to show you another way to handle what uh, to handle a Mabel because this is eventually what people are going to start to do Most likely right? <clears throat> this is a very common response people will try to hit you with a Mabel and just shut down that sideline uh, So then you can take X and you can put him on either a hitch So you have that or you can take X and put him on a curl it Depends how many yards you need and how quick you need to get rid of the ball right or what you think the user is going to do uh, I'll usually alternate or I'll wait to put them on a curl until I need more yards then I'll run this setup otherwise I'll just do it on the hitch boom easy money again I'm always low point in hitches and curls this year it's like high point in them last year it's just way glitchier uh, way glitchier works really well so note that just in, in general 
guys. Um, last thing that I wanted to show you was against man. So flip. Now, <clears throat> against man, X can then go on a drag because we don't need to clear out any zones and, and drags. They typically beat man just a little bit better than the digs do. Or in, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, kind of a general rule of thumb, but just want to focus on this because it is a lot of really good man beaters. It's kind of the thing, too. So, it's, it's definitely so. B's open, A's open that time, X was open that time. Uh, the running back was the only thing that didn't come clean, plum, wide open. Um, and that's not an uncommon look versus man coverage to see it play out like this. I mean, he smoked him. <laughs> you can see the out, the out, you know, is a great man beater just in general. Um, the flat got covered up. That will not always get covered up. Um, and then, of course, our drag had you know multiple steps <clears throat> on the defender coming across. Um, so again, I try to focus on plays that can beat every coverage, guys. I get a lot of questions about how do I beat this coverage, how do I beat that coverage. Well, just run my offense. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just run my offense. That's all. Um, it's, that's what it's designed for, guys. It's designed to beat pretty much anything. A lot of it's designed to get the ball out quick. So if you're seeing the one, four, six blitzes and stuff, guys, I'm oftentimes in a lot of my plays, it's interchangeable. What running back you send out and which one you block. We'll just leave the one on the heat side where they got the, you know, glitch defender, I guess you could call it, coming in. Leave that one in blocking, right? Simple. And then I'm, I've got so many quick reads, guys. Um, you know, I, I always say just run when you run into that. But also, I mean, look, my whole offense more or less is designed to beat stuff like that, guys. So... Um, I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. Please keep the questions coming. Man, let me know. There was a few questions that I've answered uh, with stuff and I uh, haven't heard back on, on what kind of success y'all had. Uh, I always appreciate hearing that. Uh, a, it's great feedback. Can be great criticism. Or also there could be just little simple things that, that maybe you're not doing in there that you can do a little bit differently. Maybe I didn't mention it. Maybe it's just something where there's a certain user gap or something like that. But you know, I always uh, I ask for the feedback and I mean it, guys. So uh, I appreciate y'all. Appreciate your time. Appreciate the support. Like, comment, subscribe. Dumb boys. Peace. Oh, enjoy the in-game footage, as always. Going to come down the hands of the wrong team. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Let's go, team. Let's go. Show it up. Show it up. Hold on. That's all right. That's all right. After the interception, here's Jackson. He'll get this out to Barkley complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. They pick up 12. On Deem themselves, maybe reward their defense a little bit by putting some points on the board on this one. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Jackson now. And he'll get this one complete to T.O. And he'll take this to the other side. Jackson. And he'll lay out and pull it in. What a diving.